Anointing an heir, Hugo Chavez chose his vice president Nicolas Maduro as his preferred successor before he left Venezuela for cancer treatment in Cuba in December. Often a quiet presence at the president's side, Mr. Maduro found himself in the limelight as Mr. Chavez's health worsened. We can tell Comandante Hugo Chavez that his government, all of his ministers, all of his deputies, all of his people are saying together, get better, take care of yourself, recuperate, that the people and the government are with him. Nicolas Maduro rose through the ranks of the Socialist Party over the last 15 years, serving as Speaker of the National Assembly and then Foreign Minister. He built close ties with countries like Russia and China and echoed President Hugo Chavez's support of controversial leaders like Libya's Muammar Gaddafi and Syria's Bashar al-Assad. Mr. Maduro started out as a bus driver weaving his way through the busy streets of Caracas. He then went on to become a union leader and even spent time studying in Cuba. Many Chavistas give him credit for those humble beginnings. But he doesn't have the military background of President Chavez, nor his charismatic personality. So he may not be able to inherit the devotion of so many Venezuelans that Hugo Chavez relied on. Sarah Granger, BBC News, Caracas.